So EFT is a really simple technique that works very effectively to clear negative emotions and negative beliefs. And one of the ways that you can do that is when you're feeling something, something's happened and you've got a negative emotion there, check where that feeling is in your body. So you may have like a hard red knot in your chest, or you might have a grey blubbery thing in your stomach. Or whatever it is, that's what you're going to be focusing on while you do EFT. And you can also do a scale of 0 to 10. So 0 is it doesn't exist at all, and 10 is as, as strong as it can get. So I'm angry at a 10, which is probably going to be more like a rage, or I'm irritated at a 5. And you're just going to focus on where that is in the body and then you're going to tap on meridian points to clear that blockage in the energy system. A simple statement that you can use with EFT is, even though I feel like this, I'm okay. And it's saying that in spite of this negative stuff going on in your life, you're feeling okay. And we set that up by tapping on the side of the hand that's known as the karate chop. And you just tap while you talk. And you're doing three statements on that point, you're really setting up with the subconscious what it is you're working on. So it's, even though I feel like this, I'm okay. Even though I feel like this, I'm okay. And if you want, you could do, even though I feel like this, I deeply and completely accept myself. And then you're going to tap through the other meridian points in EFT just by using a reminder phrase. So you can tap on the top of the head, and you can tap all around the head, there's lots of points there. And just say, feeling like this. And if you get two fingers, just to make sure you've got the point, you can tap at the beginning of the eyebrows and say, feeling like this. And then on the corner of the eyes, feeling like this. Then on under the eyes, feeling like this. You might even want to say, allowing it to go. Allowing it to go. Allowing it to go. Allowing it to go. And then you check in to whatever it was you were focusing on before. So if it was that hard red knot in your chest, what's there now? It might have changed colour, it might have changed consistency, it might have changed what it is. And whatever's there, you're going to put back into the statement and do that again. So you're focusing perhaps on an orange piece of string instead of a hard red knot. And you'll just do, even though I feel like this, I'm okay. And the same statement can cover any emotion. It can cover anger, it can cover sadness, it can cover hurt, it can cover embarrassment. So long as you can feel it, you can tap with EFT to clear it. And the aim is always to get that down to a zero. Otherwise it's like a weed, if you don't take out the root it's going to grow again. And it's brilliant to use just on that simple way for everyday things that aren't working for you. But if you want to work on deep core issues, things that are going to make a big difference in your life, I'd recommend that you find an EFT practitioner who'll be able to guide you and see the things that are going on for you that you can't see yourself. So happy tapping.